Hello wonderful person, this is Anton. Our universe, our galaxy, and all of the other stuff in space is very mysterious. But in today's video we're going to be talking about the 10 most unusual and weirdest facts about our own solar system that we've discovered in the last 10 years or so. Welcome to What The Math. Now, before we fly away into a galaxy or a solar system that we're not familiar with, let's actually jump back into our own solar system and start discovering these unusual facts. Let's start with the number one weirdest fact on the list, and this one is regarding to our own sun. And interestingly, our sun, which is right here, has a very unusual property about it. That property relates to what's known as the solar atmosphere, also known as the corona. It's the region around the sun that is ridiculously, ridiculously hot. We found out very recently that it's about 2 million degrees Celsius. It's essentially 200 times hotter than the actual surface of the sun. It's not as hot as the core. But nevertheless, this doesn't change the fact that, for some unknown reason, this region right here is very hot and we can't really explain it just yet. And anyway, let's go to the second fact, and the second fact relates to the closest planet from the Sun, which is of course Mercury. Now here is Mercury orbiting around the Sun, it doesn't spin very fast, one year here is over 50 days long. But what's interesting about this planet is, despite its proximity to the Sun, and despite the very, very hot temperatures on the surface of this planet, there are regions of Mercury, specifically inside those craters that you see right there and right there, where we can actually find water, specifically water ice. So, despite the ridiculously hot temperatures of over 150 degrees Celsius, this planet, that's very close to the Sun, actually has water ice. Very unusual, but not really. We've discovered in the last 10 years that there's actually water ice practically everywhere. A lot of objects in our solar system have water ice, and it's not as unique and not as uncommon as we thought it was. Anyway, this is fact number two, and let's go to the third fact, and this is about Venus. Now, in itself, Venus is a very strange planet. It doesn't spin very fast. One year here is actually um, shorter than one day. And this also is the hottest planet with the most extreme climate on the surface. Temperatures here are close to about 500 degrees Celsius. But what's even more unusual about this strange and hellish planet is that the actual wind speed that you can maybe see right now if I come a little bit closer, the wind speeds here are about 50 times faster than the rotation of the planet. Venus has winds that are very, very, very fast, specifically in the upper atmosphere. We don't really know exactly why they're so fast, because this planet doesn't spin very fast, but they are there, and we were able to detect them in the 70s when the Soviet probes uh, by the name of Venera landed on the surface here. So, what makes them fast is still unknown, but we might not actually find out anytime soon, because landing on this planet is very, very challenging. And anyway, that was Venus, let's go to Mars. Now we've talked a lot about Mars on this channel, but it doesn't change the fact that there's still a lot of mysteries about this very Earth-like planet. Now one of the things I wanted to mention in this video is that we actually still have at least one mystery and one unusual fact about Mars that we can't really explain. And this relates to the chunks of methane that we've detected in the thin atmosphere of Mars. You can kind of see some of the clouds here. This is the very, very thin atmosphere that Mars does possess. But what we've discovered very recently is that once in a while there's unusual methane spikes. Now methane is actually a gas that normally is produced by life on Earth. Is there life on Mars? And is this what's producing those spikes? We don't know. Hopefully in the next 20 years we'll find out. And maybe this will be the day when we'll actually discover life outside of planet Earth. Anyway, moving on to the next object, around Jupiter. Now there's actually quite a lot of unusual objects around Jupiter, but the one I wanted to talk about in this video is Io. Many unusual things about Io. One of them is of course the fact that this is the most volcanically active 
object in our solar system. Even though it doesn't have the highest volcano that belongs to planet Mars, uh, a volcano by the name of Olympus Mons is actually the biggest volcano in our solar system, this object has the most eruptions. You can kind of see them better on the dark side than on the bright side. And these volcanoes also produce a very, very thin atmosphere on the surface of Io. And on top of that, this object also seems to have what's known as a collapsing atmosphere. When it goes uh, into the shadow of Jupiter, which you will see in a few seconds, the atmosphere here is actually going to disappear temporarily because of the very, very unusual effects um, that Io gets from the Sun and from Jupiter. I've talked about this in more detail in one of the previous videos. Do check it out. It's somewhere on the channel. But anyway, Io's volcanoes, and there's that shadow that I mentioned just, just now, so th this actually made atmosphere disappear. So yeah, Io's volcanoes and its unusual collapsing atmosphere makes it a very interesting and unusual object in our solar system. Moving on to number six, and this is a satellite of Saturn. And you may have guessed which satellite I'm referring to. My favorite satellite in the solar system, Titan. Now there is once again, a lot of unusual things about the satellite including the fact that we can't actually see its surface. Um, its atmosphere, which is actually very, very thick, even thicker than atmosphere on our planet Earth, makes it very difficult to see the actual bottom here, the actual ground. But that's not what we're talking about here. We're talking about its unusual liquid cycle. It's the only other object in our solar system that we know of that has a liquid cycle, just like the liquid cycle on Earth with rain, ice, and uh, solid with rain, ice, and a gas form of an, a molecule. And But this is not the molecule of water we're talking about. It's actually molecules of methane and ethane. Because this uh, moon is so cold, the temperature here is uh, minus 177 degrees Celsius right now. But due to this temperature, um, water is actually always ice, but methane and ethane can actually change from liquid state gas state and solid state at these temperatures, which is actually what creates both lakes, oceans, rivers, and a lot of other stuff that is on the surface of this unusual moon. And if you ever wondered what makes this uh, object so orange, it's actually a molecule known as tholine that is a nitrogen base and it's actually found on many different objects in our solar system. And this is what creates this unusual orange color. Anyway, Let's go to number seven fact about Uranus, which is the seventh planet from the sun. Now, the sun is actually right there. And if you closely look at how objects are orbiting here and how Uranus is spinning, you might realize that it's actually tilted. It's tilted by about close to 90 degrees and it's sort of spinning on its side. Now, this is still a mystery. We don't really know why this happened, but it's very likely that this was due to a very, very large collision sometime billions and billions of years ago. But except for the tilt, there's a few other facts that we've discovered in the last, um, I guess, 10 or 15 years. One of them is that Uranus, just like every other gas and ice giant in our solar system, possesses rings. Now, it's really hard to see them and it's really, really hard to find them, but I'm going to do this just for you guys. We're going to look for those rings by going against the, the backdrop of the sunlight and look for, there it is. Look for that little illumination that the scientists have discovered in the same way. They just saw the dips in the light when Uranus orbited um, in front of a brighter object and they realized that there were rings and I'm actually approaching them right now. And there it is. This is one of uh, several rings around uh, Uranus. You can kind of see the particles orbiting around Uranus and being um, reflected and refracted by the sun. So that's kind of cool. Something that we've discovered not so long ago. And so there you go. There is those rings sort of refracting the sunlight as they orbit around Uranus. But what's really interesting is that we were able to discover rings practically everywhere. So all of the gas giants and ice giants have them. Even some asteroids have them. We've discovered at least two. The most famous being Chariklo. It's, uh, it's an object orbiting uh, past Jupiter that seems to have 
Uh, also, very unusual ring patterns that you can actually find in Space Engine as well by going directly to that object. And there is that ring that you can kind of see around this unusual asteroid. And I guess it's a little bit easier to see it from this angle right here. So, rings seem to be ubiquitous. They're kind of everywhere. It's not just Saturn, it's actually a lot of other objects as well. Okay, let's go to Neptune. Fact number eight. Now, Neptune 2 has quite a lot of different unusual facts about it, including uh, its unusual satellite Triton that actually orbits against the flow. It orbits in the opposite direction from, from everything else. There is Triton, you can kind of see it doing its own thing. But we're actually not going to be talking about this. We're talking about the Neptune itself. The mystery and the unusual fact about it is that it seems to actually radiate more energy and more heat than it receives from the sun. In other words, inside Neptune, there, there is some sort of a heat source. And this heat source is a mystery to us. We know it's there, we don't really know what it is, and we don't really know what produces that warmth. So in other words, Neptune actually is a lot warmer than it technically should be. And we don't really understand why. Anyway, let's go to the mystery and the fact number nine. And this is going to be related to the former planet, now a dwarf planet, or possibly a dual planet known as Pluto. Now, we've discovered a lot of things about Pluto from the New Horizons mission that visited this object a few years ago. But uh, some of the things really, really, really surprised the scientists. One of them is, you can maybe kind of see on the surface here, there's actually an atmosphere that's a lot thicker than we thought it would be. And this atmosphere is made up of uh, mostly nitrogen that seems to be somehow um, replenishing itself. We don't really understand how this cycle works yet, but we know it's there and we've definitely observed it with the New Horizons mission. The other thing about Pluto that's very unusual is its topography, basically the way that its ground looks. There's some unusual, unusual structures on Pluto, including some really, really um, tall mountains, cliffs, and these really unique ice spikes that are really, really high and really scary looking. So what creates this is still a mystery to us, but we've observed them and we know that they're there. So this is definitely something we'll, we're hoping to discover one day in the future. And lastly, fact number 10, and I guess the mystery number 10, is in regards to something that we haven't really discovered just yet. Now, we're going to go on the outskirts of our solar system and maybe take a look at um, this right here, which is Aries. Aries and Sedna and a few other objects that orbit on the outskirts of our solar system give us an indication that there is at least one more object, possibly a very large planet that we still haven't discovered. So the mystery number 10 is something that I can't really show you right now, but it's basically the fact that we may have not discovered all of the planets just yet. There might be at least one more planet known as Planet 9 somewhere out there, far, far away from the sun, and we're currently actively looking for it. If you're watching this in the future when the planet was already found, well, I guess cool. Now you can kind of see it in Space Engine 2 probably. But for now, it is still a mystery and still has not been discovered by our scientists. So that's all I wanted to talk about in this video. I wanted to show you some of the uh, weirdest and most unusual mysteries and facts of our solar system. And hopefully you learned something from this video. And if you did enjoy this, don't forget to subscribe don't forget to share this video with people that enjoy watching space stuff, science stuff, and want to learn through video games, and potentially support this channel with Patreon to help this channel grow and to help me purchase better equipment. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys tomorrow, where we're going to learn something else, something you didn't know before, something about space, sciences, or something else. See you tomorrow, space out, and as always, bye-bye.